Henry and the Crazy Chicken Pirates by Carolyn Grimmy, illustrated by John Manders. Henry and his buccaneer bunnies lived on an island. They spent their days reading books they had collected over the years, shooting one another out of cannon, and swinging from the mast of their ship. They were a happy bunch. Until one day, when Henry found a mysterious message in a bottle. We're coming to steal all your loot. We'd appreciate your complete cooperation. Bark. Sincerely, your worst enemies. Henry couldn't stop thinking about the note. We might trip over coconuts while we're trying to run away from the enemies, he said to his father. Barnacle Black Ear in the midst of a heated game of coconut bowling. Stop worrying about that old note, said Black Ear. What if they come while we're sleeping? Henry asked Calico Jack Rabbit, who was busy swabbing the deck. That's enough chitter chatter out of you, said Calico Jack. What if a parrot poops in my eye and I can't see them coming? Henry fretted to Jean Le Hair while he helped him dig for lost treasure. Don't be a bubbling fool, said Jean Le Hair. Relax, matey. But Henry couldn't relax. He read everything he could. Soon Henry had enough information to start his own book, which he called Henry's Plan for Impeding Danger from the Unknown Enemy Who Wrote the Scary Note. He spent every spare moment working on it. Quit wasting your time on Red Inn. Leave that to the professionals. Black Ear bellowed every time he saw Henry making notes. But Henry kept writing. One day, on the other side of the island, Henry saw a strange sight. Floating down from the sky was a hot air balloon filled with crazy chicken pirates. Henry raced back to find the other buccaneer bunny. I just saw a hot air balloon filled with crazy chicken pirates, Henry cried. Black Eared laughed. You're talking crazy again, Henry. Maybe you should get your eyes checked, said Jean Le Hair, or eat more carrots. Calico Jack. But Henry knew what he had seen, so he started working even harder on his book, testing and retesting his strategies. Henry, what happened? My parrot poop helmet slipped down over my eyes and I tripped, said Henry. Henry, what's wrong now? I was trying to attach a ladder to my lookout, said Henry. Henry, what are you doing down there? I was trying to hop over my crazy chicken pirate trap, said Henry. Stop writing that blasted book of yours, or I'll toss it into the sea, growled Black Ear. But Henry kept writing. One morning, Henry heard a funny sound coming from the ship. He paged through his book until he found the chapter he was looking for. Funny sounds coming from the ship. If funny sounds should start coming from the ship, investigate without being seen or heard. Henry grabbed his spyglass and quietly climbed up to his lookout. The other buccaneer bunnies were tied up while a gang of crazy chicken pirates rummaged through the ship. Get the ropes, find their loot, spill your guts or we'll throw you to the sharks. Bark, bark, bark. Uh-oh, said Henry. He knew that he would need to think fast and act bravely. The problem thought Henry, is that I do not really think fast, and I am not brave at all. And then Henry remembers something from his chapter, facing the enemy. When the enemy is near, pretend to be brave. Henry put on his parrot poop helmet, which always made him feel brave, grabbed a coconut, and hopped to the ship. Tend to be brave, he whispered. He adjusted his parrot poop helmet and tossed the coconut into the ship. Hey, you crazy chicken pirates, you're nothing but a bunch of dopey drumsticks. Seconds later, they came dashing down the gangplank, clucking and flapping with gusto. Get him, shouted the largest one. Henry hopped faster than he ever had before. Bark, come back here. Stop that hippity hopping. Bark, bark. Henry kept going until he reached his crazy chicken pirate trap. Just before he was about to fall in, he hopped to the right. Suffering scallywag, crickety, bark! Every last crazy chicken pirate tumbled into the trap. 
You blimey bunny, they shouted. Get us out. Sorry, said Henry. He scampered back to the ship and untied the crew. Three cheers for Henry, they cried. They toasted him with cups of coconut milk. Anything in your book about what to do with a bunch of crazy chicken pirates? Asked Blackbeard. As a matter of fact, there is, said Henry. Afterward, Henry sat down in the sand and started to write. What book are you writing now, Henry? Asked Blackbeard. Henry smiled. I think I'll call it Henry and the Crazy Chicken Pirates.